Okay, so I'm back at the area right here to focus on this gentleman right here. This black fellow on top of this mountain around these other structures, you know, uh, statues type things. And um, I've done a video on this. You can check it out. But I'm trying to figure out who is this guy. And what's now I'm bringing this back to your attention <laughs> is... Uh, I did some research on the Hopi Indians. Well, I did a research on a lot of the Indians, natives, the Turtle Islander people, the people of Turtle Island. Uh, that's what they call America. Maybe the whole world. Um, I think the Hopi may be like the very first people of Earth. But see, the Hopi believed, and this is why I'm focusing on this man right here, that um, they had a white brother, a black brother, a yellow brother, and a red brother. And they went to Four Corners of the world and they're going to meet up at the end of the fourth cycle <clears throat> right so they all left from some i think they all left from here like around here somewhere on the pacific northwest maybe the grand canyon that's where the hopi legend comes from um so i don't know anyway but they believe also that pahana is going to return who is the lost white brother of the hopi and he's supposed to return, and no one they don't think anyone would recognize him back in the day. So they carved up a statue head of a black Indian. I won't say an African-American because uh, he was a Turtle Island American or a Turtle Island in, you know, Indian that they carved with a black face. And um, a white face and a gray face. I don't understand it completely, and I can't find my notes. So uh, I'll wing it the best I can, but... The gist of the story is he's going to return and he's going to have this shiny black head with him. And it was uh, not going to look like it was etched in stone, but it was going to look like it was soaked in ink, right? So, what's this? All these, you know, you got all these stoners around here. You could tell everything's etched in stone. Then here's this dude. Uh, yeah, I'm tattooed up, you know, I was etched in ink. So could this be have something to do with the Pahana prophecy? I really wonder. They say um, it's going to be guarded. The, the head's going to be guarded by um, the fire clan. Is it possible maybe the fire clan live <clears throat> underneath? And, you know, if you go down those stairs and there's other structures, you know, behind this, you can see a triangular structure, that same type of material. Um, and I'll leave a link to a video I did maybe a week or two ago about, um, you know, who is this guy? He's on top of a mountain by himself in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> There's no in or out. There's nothing. You can't get in or out. I don't want to go too far. I always lose my spot. But, um, yeah, but there's a UFO back here parked and I did a video on it. I don't know if I could just find it real quick. Is it that? No, um, that's oh, right there. See, there's the UFO. Tell them that ain't a UFO. I've done a video on it before, but there it is again. What is that? So we got <clears throat> ancient black statues that could be related to Hopi prophecy. But regardless, it's fascinating that it's in the middle of nowhere. And this is definitely ancient. And there's also some type of guards back here. Look at that. It has a kangaroo head. And then there's another person that looks like another person. I probably bang both of them. They look like women. And so, uh, you know, that chick looks like she's got an ass. It looks like they got a machine gun, too. I don't know what I'm really looking at here, but I see a kangaroo head. Impossible bonable chicks. But yeah, so I'm just wondering who is this guy? Is he related to prophecy? I wrote to a couple Indian tribes, you know, let them know, like, hey, I saw this area you guys may be interested in. I wrote the Hopis. I wrote the Haida. I haven't heard anything back. The, the Haida. I wrote Graham Hancock. Um, you know, I own a few of his books. One's autographed. I don't know if it's real or not. I got it off Amazon. But yeah, so uh, I haven't heard nothing back from anyone. I think this is totally fascinating, and I think I may be Pahana because I found the black shiny statue.